It's about day three now in Tokyo, and um, sorry that, that I didn't record in the morning. It's now 10 o'clock. I was we actually overslept. The alarm clock wasn't on properly. <coughs> but um, today we are going to the Tokyo Tower, which will be taking us uh, two stops to get to it. It's not that bad. I mean, when we get there, I'll be definitely be taking a lot of shots from the actual top and show you what Tokyo is like. Hopefully we might be lucky, we might actually find Mount Fuji in that, in that view. We might be lucky, but you don't know. But after that, probably at night time, I might be going back to Akihabara because my mother wants me to find some Clash, and uh, I love my Clash. So why the hell not? And plus there's other stuff that's in Akihabara, which would be Mandrake, um, Fireball, all these awesome retro gaming, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon cards, places. It looks like our stop is here, so I'll be right back when we get on to off our next station. Be right back. So we just got off our station spot. I think I noticed it already. I might be completely wrong, but there's too many towers knocking about. I don't know which one it might be, but we're now going to check out our map and see where it is. So hopefully we can find on where it could be. So let's get ready to hunt, shall we? Okay people, we've just been walking and everything, just to point for the Tokyo Tower and look what we've come across. See, I don't know if this is someone's house or something like that, or it's a temple of some sort. But I do not want to go in because it doesn't say anything in English and I don't know if we're trespassing or not, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to take a few pictures for the home and then we're going to carry on going. Because the Tokyo Tower is just right there. So we're quite near. So let's carry on pressing on. Okay, people, we've been mainly going past these all the time, but I've just actually accidentally keep on forgetting that we um, and I'm trying to recall one of these. But pretty much, what it mainly is is like some of them are like this, that show all blue lines, which is they're all cold. But some of them actually come past, and they have like red lines here, if you notice. And if the red lines, that means it's hot. So pretty much, you put your money in, and then you click any button you want. So Joe's going for a thing. What? Drop down there, and this time instead of pushing it, you open it. And pretty much the ones that we mainly have had, um, I've had this one, which is like a lemon water, which is actually really nice. We mainly go for the water most of the time because we're always are dehydrated. I need to try one of them soon. The refreshing shot that must be like an energy drink or something from Pepsi. But some, there's some other ones. There's coffee lattes that they, they are actually. There's so many coffees. True, if that is cold. Yeah, they are cold. Well, they should be cold anyway, that means they're blue. But anyhow, that's mainly what one of them's like. If we find some more, we'll definitely catch up with some more then. But anyway, off to Tokyo Tower once again. It looks like it, people. We've actually made it. To tell you a quick history lesson, really quick, people. This, if you guys have already noticed it, why does it look like the Eiffel Tower? Slash Blackpool Tower. It's because, if I remember, they actually imitated the Eiffel Tower to make it. So pretty much, they copied France. That's what I've heard. So, yeah, it's like being Paris, but in Japan. Whoa! But hopefully, we might be able to get to the top if they let us. That's the thing. Oh, we can we can walk. So, oh, there's another. There's another one there, but they're all blue again, so they're no hot ones. But, yeah. There's the tower. Let's see if we can get on top. I'll tell you what, Joe, I don't think we might actually get we might not be able to go to the top. I don't know. なお、水田満点真っ白の時計のガラスの床、ぬくだみんどうとお帰りくだねえべつは、一つ下の階大展望台、階にございますので、階段を一階段お下がったお住みくださいませ。ワイコフト東京タワーですべたフィーチャーズ
That's it. That's a cool pair, I like it. Oh my god, look at this. My god, this is beautiful. This is just one part. This is just one part of the city. <coughs> this is unbelievable, people. I have never seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Persona 5. It's probably advertising that it's coming out soon, which I can't wait to see. This is just unbelievable. This is just, just towers upon towers upon towers all over Tokyo. It's like, I've never seen this before. And like, New York is completely different from here. Vegas is completely different. But this is like, to me, better. I think it's better. This place is just massive. Oh god, I don't like looking down, but I'll just put the camera down. So you guys know how far we're down. I do not like heights. <laughs> this is just ridiculous, people. So flipping ridiculous. It's just mad on how much stuff is here. How many towers, how many shops, how many people live here for such a like a very small island, even though it's bigger than the United Kingdom. And you can just see very, very far into the distance. If I could just focus. There you go. So much stuff everywhere. This is just crazy. This is crazy, people. There's all the people just working away. What do you think, Joe? This is magnificent. Pretty much breathtaking. I wish you guys would, would come here and I'll try this out. And I tell you right now, feel my throat feels much better now. Even though I do cough a lot, a little bit more, but I do feel better. I can't wait for that game to come out. <laughs> just a bit of a sidetrack. I just can't wait to play that game. God damn, it's gonna be awesome. It's like the city never ends. It's pretty much it is though. It's like a city that never sleeps, aka New York. But whatever. I just went around the next corner and we just saw just beyond the far end you see the sea and everything and like those like little areas. And there's the hotels on that on the side of the bridge. Yeah. And there's the wheel that we actually saw when we first came here. Well if you look downwards. There's the temples. So if we might probably look at and when we do leave here later on, we're gonna try our hardest to try and get to there, to try and actually explore there and take some pictures. It's just non-stop towers. There's the Prince Hotel. Oh dude, that's awesome. It's making me so more excited to play this game so bad and definitely when I get on the PS4 people I'll definitely be doing this live streaming. Oh baby. Yeah. 
you guys want to read it, go ahead. But I'll give you a picture as well so you know what it says. So there's the mystery ball. It's so glorious. I'll defend, I'll defend, I'll be all Okay people, I've just bought some stuff from the little tiny gift shop. There's uh, some stuff that'll be for my family and friends. But I just noticed down here, this is something quite unique. And just to really talk about a dark, dark thing, aka death. We have like our own tombstones, but down here are all these different types of ornaments that are on graves. This is a cemetery actually. There's no like proper tombstones, it's all like very detailed structures. There's tons of them. And right across that you got yourself a gymnasium patch, you know, for uh, athletes and everything. Look, oh, more, more cities. Taverns. And also you got yourself a football pitch right down there. Oh, so much stuff. Everywhere. I just found this and I think I know who I could get this for and you guys you guys do not know him but he's a good friend of mine called Yanis and he's um, definitely going to be chuffed when he sees this all from Tokyo Tower he loves his kawaii Hello Kitty I actually did write him a little bit one but yeah this is going to be awesome let's go and get it okay people I just got this for a good friend of mine Yanis I hope you do enjoy it from Tokyo Tower Super kawaii, and this is also for your keychain because I know you drive, so that'll be connected to the um, little that coin. Just came in a case, mine didn't. They didn't just come. Probably because mine are um, sponsored by Hollow Kitty. Ah, one of these ones are special designed for Tokyo. Special style for Tokyo. So I'm going to stick them in there, so Yanis, you will see them when you get home. And we're going to carry on going up, because there's actually another floor to get to the final floor. Okay. So, let's get there people. Up. 250 meters up, bloody hell, that's high. We're only 150. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. God help me. Oh, thank goodness for that, I thought we were going to be using stairs all the time, but no, we found escalators. Yay! Please, there be some more going up. I God, hope there is. And I will be recording the whole travel to go up there. So let's see how long it takes, people. Well, I'm just waiting to help you out. There's stairs. Here we go. It's time to lose that. It's time to lose all that pounds. Oh, is that it? Really? Oh my goodness. We are going up to the 250 meter high special observatory. You may hear a cracking noise, but it is from a safety device and is perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> we are now on the final top floor. This is mad. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what Carl Perkins has said when he went, if he came here and he was trying to look for, look, look for Mount Fuji. Where is Mount Fuji? You won't be able to see from there, mate. You got you can have a good try because it could be knocking about but we, we are quite too far from it. But at least we can see so far. Dude, that guy is white outside, Jesus Christ, that's bad. That's terrifying. I would like having his job. I know, I noticed. What? The guy outside. No. There's a roller coaster for you on top of the roof over there. What? That yellow track. Yellow track? I don't see no yellow track. Why? Okay people, now, just to tell you right now, my camera is about to die, so probably if I don't get anything else from here, I'll be charging it all back in the hotel and we're going to be resting up there before we knock about. So if I find anything else, I'll keep you updated when I get past the hotel, so I'll see you soon. Cheerio! Man, it's beautiful. This is terrifying, this is horrible. Oh god. <laughs> no. Yep, I'm definitely terrified of heights. Oh god, that's horrible. I always shit myself. Pretty much we just found a cafe in the tower. I just got this um, ice cream caramel with um, some sort of rice krispies and also this ham and cheese, like something like a panini but bread like. Got some water, but Joe here has got himself a bumming cream soda float. Which fault. I think that horrible. It's a colour fault. It's the it's, it's soda fault, wherever it is. But look at the view. That is gorgeous. <laughs> so pretty much I'm going to enjoy this and probably turn off the camera for a good while. So I'll see you guys next time. See you in a bit. Hello Mr. Turkle. Okay, so that. I'm in the aquarium now, just underneath the wall. What? The angel fish, isn't it? Oh, come on, I don't want fish. We're actually in the aquarium now, that is um, just oh. underneath the um, Tokyo Tower. And my phone is still gonna die. But um, if it dies, it dies. But at least I got a bit of the um, actual fish. And if I've got some pictures, I can take some pictures. So if the camera dies, I can still take pictures. I'm very sorry, but that's all I can get up to now. Hello, look at you, 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 you want to be on TV, don't you? Whoa. Okay, people, I went back to the hotel and, um, well, my camera died in the between doing the um, aquarium, so... To promise you guys, I will be going back there to get the aquarium and everything, and also the shrine. We did see the shrine up above and in the tower, but my camera died in between it all a lot, so I will be going back there before we go back home. But right now, Joe has pretty much been gone for quite a long time, I don't know where he's gone, he might go to Akiha, but like I told him to do. So I'm going to go out and see what I can find, and I'm just going to take the key, and um, if Joe comes here before me again, he'll just take the key and then... <laughs> we'll do it. So with that being said, off I go for another little tiny trip around the ranches, shall we? To Akihabara again a bit, or anywhere that we can else can we find. So, let's go and see. Okay people, then this is just outside the hotel if you guys want to know, and it has all these everywhere. There's just tons of them. There's different types of drinks, you got the ones that we know from in England, like Volvic, Tropicana. And uh, Coca-Cola and uh, Orangina, 
Well, there's a lot of obscure ones like Fire, which is uh, I think it's coffee. Um, some other ones. Plus we got Red Bull as usual, but there's nothing else that we could really see. But probably if I have a chance, I might buy some of these later on tonight and try them out. But I have no idea yet. But anyhow, enough Joey Jovin. Let's carry on going and see what else we can find, shall we? Just to tell you right now, this card I found was ridiculously expensive. 1.5 million yen for this card. And if you guys want to know, the card was freaking English. It was a 2007 card, which I, if I remember, was a championship card. It's not a first edition, it's uncommon, it's ridiculously rare. Ha, 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 ha. 